think uh, that was a fantastic session by uh, Mr. Srivastav, right. Um, you know, some of the things that I picked up, well, I mean, I, I just, you, you've heard my introduction. I just want to say that I speak in my personal capacity here. Um, and I would really like to thank uh, Exchange for Media uh, for inviting me to speak here. Um, and I also congratulate them. Uh, the reason I congratulate them is they've organized a conference which is on a very important technological innovation that is actually going to potentially change the way advertisers approach uh, their targets and open up new avenues in precision marketing. Um, you will hear a lot, uh, sorry, so which way does this work? Yeah, you will hear a lot um, on the following sessions uh, about uh, how, uh, and I got the agenda, so I saw that, you know, the latest speakers that are going to talk about how connected TV can make advertising work for brands, um, how measurement of audience can be done more effectively in a connected TV world, uh, new shoppers, how can they be influenced from awareness to consideration, um, how cable TV, DTH, uh, connected TV coverage, um, how, how they converge, and uh, really more on cord switching. So cord, earlier we heard of um, cord cutting, which was very prevalent in the West, but now we are hearing a word which is cord, a phrase which is cord switching. And I think that is uh, something that you will hear about in the next sessions. And of, of course, creating interactions through connected TV. So all this are very um, interesting sessions that are lined up for the day. Uh, and I've been kind of asked to talk about survival of the fastest. So I thought of uh, focusing on a few aspects uh, just to give a brief context uh, so that the relevance of the next sessions um, are clear to you and you can draw from my session onto the next sessions and see you know, how the whole thing, uh, the concept of connected TV and you know, audience measurement, how you target audiences and how you, you know, have more precision marketing, all this will come together hopefully uh, with my introductory sessions and the following sessions. Um, and, and before I go into, uh, you know, presenting my slides, and I have a few of them, um, I'd just like to pick up some of the things Mr. Srivastava said. And really that's a very good segue into the topic uh, that's going on uh, to come for, for later part of the day. So he spoke about uh, digital, so it's a combination of physical and digital, and that's the way forward. As you will see, he spoke about disruption. So, connected TV itself, the technology is a disruptor, and we'll talk more about it. Uh, he spoke about embracing technology, and he said, also said that, you know, if you don't embrace technology, te technology is going to throw you out. I mean, the, the, the fast pace at which technology is changing is going to throw you out of business. Absolutely, that's the case, and, and connected TV is one such, um, uh, you know, development in the technology world. Uh, which really is going to change the way advertisement is done, particularly to uh, certain sections of the audiences. Yeah. And uh, he also spoke about 35% uh, of his budget being on television, and he thinks that, and Maruti is, has got, I, I can see that it's got one of the biggest advertising budgets in the automobile industry. I'm sure it's, it's got the biggest. Um, and he says that, you know, uh, he is looking at more personalized and, of course, therefore, um, uh, you know, going more into a connected TV space uh, going forward. Single view of customers and, you know, transactional and interactional data. I, I will keep that for posterity because it's a fantastic coinage that you've made. Interactional data and single view of customer is also something which is, uh, which is being provided by connected TV as a technology, right? When it comes to um, audience measurement and when it comes to the behavior of audiences, viewing pattern of audiences. But fantastic, uh, when he said, uh, he spoke about connected devices. So, you know, uh, connected TV is one such connected device, but he's talking about, you know, devices that are connected to the internet and how 
those can provide alerts, those can provide various safety measures, etc. So that's another dimension that uh, is a product feature. But these are very important things uh, which, you know, it's, it's important for us to appreciate how the advent of internet is actually enabling various product features and it's actually taking technology from one step to the other and leapfrogging actually. So with that, uh, you know, uh, maybe I'll just uh, lay out my agenda for the day. Um, I'll talk about how um, the television value chain is getting disrupted. And, uh, you know, I'll quote from a research paper and you can see, you know, it's, it's very clearly laid out what are the different elements that are coming in the television broadcasting chain. Um, the difference between um, CTV, OTT and linear TV, although this might sound very basic, <coughs> but I'm sure it's always a question uh, in our mind because we keep on using these terms, right? Uh, connected TV, OTT, linear TV. What does it mean really? In very layman, simple, simple people's term, uh, I would like you to appreciate this because I think the rest of the day uh, we'll keep using these terms off and on. So uh, a little bit on that. Um, television broadcasting in the 5G era. My theme is survival of the fastest. I just need to keep a watch on the time. Yeah, survival of the fastest. And so therefore, uh, you know, we are in an era where we already are seeing 5G, which is one of the latest communication technologies and how uh, television broadcast might uh, change or you know, uh, evolve in this 5G era. Some overview of CTV trends, and here I'm going to really quote from a very recent research that's been done by Group M Kantar. Um, and I'm sure there are speakers from Group M Kantar coming in later on in the day, and they will talk to you more about that. But there are certain uh, very defining uh, 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 you know, um, trends that are coming out of this study. And it's important for us to have an uh, overall bird's eye view of those trends. I'll talk about it a little bit. The key differences between connected TV and linear TV and its implications, uh, connected TV audience measurement and attribution, and the concept of fastest and connected TV. So there's a lot to cover, but I'll try and uh, give you only glimpses so that you, know, you have appreciation of the details that are going to follow. A um, well, little bit about the history of uh, connected TVs. Uh, you know, the smart and connected TV uh, concept is not that old. It's become dominant, particularly in the early uh, to, uh, 2010s. And um, you know, um, in the um, you know so, some of the high-end uh, television technologies have come in mid 2010, 2015. And in Nielsen, I think they ran a, a survey in 2016, which said about 30% of the US households beyond a certain income bracket uh, would have a smart TV. So, so it really is a particular segment of the audience uh, that um, is moving towards this technology. Uh, a certain income bracket, a certain, uh, you know, a, a certain um, genre of audience. Now, how has uh, the TV broadcast value chain been changing and how is it getting disrupted? And this is from a research paper, very well laid out, where, uh, you know, um, essentially it's been mapped out how a few years ago, the broadcasting chain was much simpler and um, you had, uh, you know, maybe uh, just two players in the content market, two types of players. Uh, you know, three or four uh, types of distribution network, couple of types of uh, gadgets in the uh, television space, and the consumers were only of a couple of types which would pay license fees and uh, pay TV subscriptions. But cut to now, at this age, this scenario has completely changed, and that's because of the proliferation of, uh, um, of communication technology. Uh, and the evolve, uh, evolving communication technology that we have now. <clears throat> so you will see particularly, uh, you know, in, this, in the domain of content producers and devices and apps, there's been a massive change. The content pro in, in the content producers market, we have, um, you know, OTT providers and personalized, personal content providers uh, are coming in and absolutely taking the uh, entire content uh, 
uh, domain by, uh, you know, it, it massive change, pivoting uh, around these uh, content providers. And in the devices and app space, you now have uh, app developers, you have gaming consoles, you have smart TVs, you have tablets, you have smartphones. All these have come in because of one thing, which is the advent of evolved communication technologies. And we al already heard about metaverse, which is evolving right now. I think it's not in a very evolved stage. Um, uh, at, at this moment, uh, we are having um, individual metaverses or hosted metaverses. There will soon be a day when the, you will have interoperable metaverses. And I think the, the rules around those and you know, the, the policies around those are still in the works. So metaverse is definitely a space uh, to watch out for, but you know, let's come back to television. And you see that you know, the television value chain today is much more fragmented and um, you know, um, uh, it, it's mainly due to the increasing applications arising from uh, the advancement of communication technologies. So communication technology is, is something which is uh, probably driving many of, this, many of these uh, disruptions. And the main reason for disruption, again, is the convergence of internet, um, broadband and telecom industries, and internet protocol and uh, uh, internet protocol and internet. They are the key enablers of bringing the industry uh, uh, together and breaking down the barriers which used to exist earlier. So, so that's, the, that's basically the background of how this disruption is happening, right? Let us discuss about this much talk topic about uh, CTV, OTT, and linear TV, right? I mean, we have, we often use these uh, CTV and OTT interchangeably, and you know, the difference of linear TV, uh, di difference with linear TV needs to be understood. So. You know, as you will see these terms through the rest of the day, uh, at a time, uh, you know, where OTT and CTV are used interchangeably, they're, they're confusing. Uh, and if you throw in uh, the word linear TV into it, it becomes further more confusing. So let's try and untangle this a little bit. Uh, so OTT essentially is a delivery mechanism. Uh, it, it really delivers uh, content, video content, over the internet backbone and in a, f in a form which is video on demand. Um, and it's over the top and, uh, you know, um, uh, and uh, used uh, and, and provided by traditional network providers. So it jumps the broadcast chain and it goes directly into using the network. It goes directly into the device of the customer. So that's OTT. Uh, connected TV is an internet connected device, so it's a device. The earlier one is a delivery mechanism. This one is a device, which a customer uses to watch television or video content online, on demand. And it could be a smart TV, gaming console, or some other sort of internet connected device. So, so that's connected TV. So that this one is a uh, 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 so both are technologies, one is hardware, the other one is software, if you want to understand it very simply. And linear TV, of course, you know, we all know it is a classic system where the viewer watches a scheduled television program when it is aired in its original, content, original channel, and the viewer can watch the content um, through antenna or by paying cable or satellite subscription. So, you know, so that I want... Uh, this, this audience to you know, keep as a background when you hear the other, so, you, so that you can place you know, what's being said where. Television broadcast in the 5G era. So one of the main, uh, what's the characteristics of uh, the 5G era, right? Uh, we spoke about how changes in communication technology is changing TV viewing. Uh, since October last year, we have 5G in India, but it's still in a nascent stage, and I don't think you know, we have the desired coverage anywhere close to what we want or what we are looking at in the future in India. But essentially, 5G is higher frequency, higher bandwidth. So in the current 5G scenario, what we will see is consumers uh, uh, you know, uh, will pay for what they watch, when they want to watch it, and where they want to watch it. So that's what 5G is going to enable. You know, you still had that in 4G, but because of the 5G capabilities, 
the uh, the way uh, this viewing will happen the way the downloads will happen is going to be of a different order altogether uh, and and the the, uh, the lower latency of the uh, you know of the broadcast is also going to enhance the viewing experience of audiences so whereas in 4g era uh, these things were already there in 5g the adoption of uh, a smart tv is going to be at a different level because it's going to be near real time with um, with absolute uh, you know enhanced capacities of download and streaming right so um, so in in the in the 5g era therefore uh, you know um, the way marketers will market to their audience will also have to change because the adoption of new technologies will happen much faster you know some of that uh, was spoken about by mr shivastav well metaverse is one of those technologies but ctv per se television viewing is going to uh, you know be adopted at a much faster pace now now i come to the uh, the uh, the survey that i spoke about which is the kantar survey uh, and uh, you know they they bring out certain very interesting uh, ctv trends i think the survey was made uh, on a nccs ab uh, and it was uh, i think uh, mainly 70% or 80% nccs a and uh, predominantly male uh, with i think uh, it was uh, 21 to 50 years and uh, the results of the survey and maybe some of my counter friends can correct me if i got this uh, data wrong but that's what i i read very interesting uh, very interesting trends coming out uh, 12% share of total tv is ctv in 2022 and that's going to be around 22% uh, uh, in in 5 years time globally 47% cagr of ctv ad spends about 400 million uh, ctv ad spends in 2027 uh, 20 i think you know that's a very conservative estimate with the adoption of newer technologies this might have a, a a a kind of a hockey stick kind of a trajectory i'm hoping so but you know we'll go with this study advertising spends would grow um, on the back of brand spending more on connectivity that's a very clear message that's coming out of this survey and um, it is convenience that is driving audience whereas addressability that is driving advertisers to connected tv so advertisers are uh, looking at more addressable audience uh, where they can identify with the audience track the audience much better and it is a convenience factor that is actually driving the audience towards the uh, connected tv some more trends uh, um, you know the, dri uh, the driving of the growth of addressable television households is happening because of contents uh, on ott apps smart tv sales and uh, broadband connection this is also one of the trends that's coming out of this uh, survey 11% cagr in in broadband subscribers so you know uh, the growth in broadband which is the tri projected uh, gr uh, growth figures is also something to be put in conjunction with this technology right to see that the enabler for adoption of ctb how is that growing and that's 11% which is phenomenal given that you know we already have a great base a good base in india this is uh, a very high growth number and 600 million so this is a, a, a bain report which says 600 million ott viewers with an average daily time of 180 minutes spent uh, that is also uh, some a data point that is of good use because ott viewing or video on demand is one of the driving factors for adoption of uh, connected tv and that's where we are going with uh ott viewing so uh the kantar survey actually shows that uh, connected tv is the preferred and and it's of course based on the sample that they have surveyed and it is a specific section of society so uh it has to be taken seen in that light uh connected tv is a preferred connection for about uh, 65% whereas uh, that that and that comprises of smart tvs um 
um, and devices such as Fire Stick, internet enabled set top boxes, etc. Whereas the rest of the 35% uh, is linear, which is cable and DTH. So, you know, we made the distinction between linear and, and, and connected. Connected is, um, uh, you know, smart TVs and other devices which enable, um, you know, over the top viewing, whereas linear is, um, you know, appointment TV, specific appointment programs, appointment TV. Main differences, uh, the key differences are, uh, of course, uh, by now you've all appreciate that it's content available on demand uh, in case of the CTV users. Content can be personalized. So, you know, you would, so or based on my viewing pattern, um, I would know what kind of um, content I'm, uh, what kind of content I want to view. And then the advertiser would also know me as a, um, as an individual, what kind of content I'm viewing so that they can target me. They would know my age, uh, you know, age bracket. They would know my, uh, you know, viewing habits, and accordingly, you know, they would do a profiling of the consumer and, and target. So advertising can be targeted and better profiling of the consumer is possible. So that's the difference between linear and uh, the connected TV technology. So connected TV measurement and uh, attribution, the measurement is the ability to track and analyze the success of performance TV advertising campaigns whereas attribution is to identify where uh, the, uh, the consumers are coming from when they take an intended action. You know, so, so, you know, what is the source of that intended action? And I'll talk a little bit about the technology that goes behind it, of course, at a very high level. Uh, so assessing the effectiveness of CTV advertising, there are certain metrics that, uh, that are followed uh, you know, it's like uh, cost per comple completed view, cost per acquisition, and average order value, etc. So these are some of the metrics that are coming in for, uh, for agencies and advertisers to measure the effectiveness of uh, CTV advertising. Uh, so if a consumer sees an ad on a linear TV that inspires them to buy, they might search for that ad in, uh, they might search for that product in Google, and they might navigate the company's website from the search results and, you know, they will click the website, make a purchase. You cannot make that conjunction, the attribution, in a linear TV uh, scenario. Whereas, uh, in the CTV realm, uh, in the click of the consumer who navigates uh, uh, the attention away from the television glass to visit the brand's website on the mobile device, the attribution can be made there. Because, uh, you know, you have the technology, and I'll talk briefly about that technology, how that attribution can be made. So that is where, you know, you can really go to a next level where you can actually um, ascribe the attribution of a sale to, or, uh, to an ad that was aired on the, uh, on the connected TV, right? And typically, how does it work? I'll just take a minute to explain to you at a very high level. So if an ad is delivered to the CTV platform, then the platform identifies and stores the household IP address in an exposure file. And the uh, device uh, graph, uh, and then, you know, the device graph, uh, it, it also populates the uh, other devices that are attached to the IP address in that household. So there's a connection that's made through the IP address. And then if there, there are multiple people in the household using mobile devices, those are added to the exposure file. And then when someone in the household uses uh, one of the connected devices by visiting a website or making a purchase, the data about that can be stored in an outcome file. So two files, exposure and outcome file. By comparing the data in the exposure and the outcome files, it is possible to match to the IP address uh, indicating that someone in the household acted based on the CTV ad. So this is a very simplistic view of how this uh, attribution, the connection and the attribution can be made. It's not as simple as I'm making, out, uh, making this out to be. But just to give an overview of how this technology um, enables attribution in case of a, a, a connected TV device, which is not possible in case of a linear TV device. So therefore, uh, for marketers, if the adoption of this technology happens, it is a, it's a big blessing because they know exactly how their ads are actually 
uh, inducing uh, purchasing behavior in their consumers. Now to come to the uh, context of fastest. So, you know, my session is survival of the fastest. So, uh, you know, though uh, TV in the TV broadcast domain, uh, uh, CTV will certainly attract uh, influence and measure audiences better than linear TV, it is competing with mobile devices. So let's understand that. Mobility is something which has, uh, which is of paramount importance, which has been uh, increased many folds uh, due to the proliferation of communication technologies. So you still have a CTV competing with mobile devices, right? In the TV space, of course, the connected TV is fast emerging uh, as, a, as a space, um, you know, um, uh, it, it enables the ability to differentiate between, uh, differentiate on content, timing preference, and personalization. So that is something which CTV gives to the, um, to the viewers, which the linear TV doesn't. So therefore, there is a, in the TV viewing space, of course, CTV will uh, emerge very fast. That's, uh, that's nobody's, I mean, uh, uh, doubt at this moment. And building more and more personalization, personalization features uh, will get in an audience faster to the CTV. So, you know, that's the context of being uh, survival of the fastest because of the personalization and, you know, if you can give me what, what I want to view at a point in time when I want to view it, I will move to your platform, right? Uh, which, of course, there's a, there's a big, uh, uh, you know, um, there's a big disadvantage there with linear TV technology. However, there are certain challenges. We need to be mindful of these. So I'm just counting three. There might be many, uh, one of which is cyber, data privacy, etc., which was, uh, the point was addressed by uh, Mr. Shivastav. But I'm just talking about three here. The number of CTVs, uh, CTV homes hasn't, uh, hasn't caught up. And of course, you know, because of the, uh, the price of the devices, this is really a certain segment of society that can only afford, uh, whereas, Linear television is, uh, if you talk about the Indian audience, uh, you know, not everybody can afford that price. And we saw that Nielsen data uh, about US, which said that, uh, you know, CTV is gaining pace in households which has more than $75,000 uh, per annum income. So similarly, there will be, beyond a certain threshold, the adoption will be very high because of the price of these devices. Uh, many platforms and data providers are not able to match the cookie data uh, or mobile ad data to IP. So that is one of the issues which limits the scale of inventory available. So you need to, so you know, the currency uh, and the inventory, there would be uh, a dearth of that uh, unless this matching technology, uh, you know, improves. And, uh, you know, uh, the attribution uh, can be made really, really pronounced. Um, and so there is a little bit of technology catch up that needs to happen there. And uh, the bigger thing is how's the collaboration between the content distributors and the companies that are building and selling CTV devices. So therefore, you know, these often come with preloaded uh, apps, CTVs often come with preloaded apps, bundled apps, right? So there needs to be certain collaboration uh, that needs to happen between the content, uh, you know, the, the apps basically and the CTV, so that's also one of the things that need to be addressed uh, for faster adoption of uh, uh, connected TV. And what can we expect in the future? Uh, well, with, uh, you know, with viewership drops in the satellite and cable TV, you know, there will be many live stream programs like sports programs, etc., which we feel will one day move to a connected TV environment yeah, because you will have more and more audience coming into the connected TV world, right? Uh, and, you know, those, uh, the big four OTTs, uh, they're already, uh, you know, doing content, content streaming, they're already in that space. Uh, we expect their dominance to hold steady and increase in the coming years. And that is what will also drive uh, a lot of the connected TV because, you know, that's video on demand. Uh, you, can, you can watch those. And you know the, the exclusivity of the content, the quality of the content, everything is getting invested uh, there in that space. And uh, in the last decade, we, we saw this shift from traditional TV to, uh, st uh, to streaming TV begin. 
Now, we will see this movement solidify as data, machine learning, and artificial intelligence, and IoT products continue to advance. So regardless of the changing landscape, we feel that uh, there's no question that um, OTT and CTB advertising would remain relevant and actually will increase, which is, you just heard from uh, Mr. Shivasa, who's one of the leading advertisers, that's also what he feels. You know, uh, going forward with the adoption of this technology, uh, the dollars, the advertising dollars will move to uh, the CTV space at a pretty fast pace. With that, um, I hope that's given you a, a bit of a background for uh, appreciating what's going to come in the next sessions. And, uh, you know, there are, in each of these that I've spoken uh, about, uh, I think there are going to be, there are going to be detailed sessions, so you will enjoy uh, those interactions and you can hopefully fit that into the deliberations that I've just now made. With that, I thank you very much. I've gone over by two minutes. Thank you for your patient listening.